Hello everyone, welcome back to this tutorial on Elasticsearch. So far we have seen several things about Elasticsearch. What is Elasticsearch, how to install the Kibana, how to install the Elasticsearch itself and some basic terms. In this tutorial we are going to see how we are going to install and use the Elasticsearch as a whole. That means several components will be used along with Elasticsearch and how we are going to architecture it that we are going to say in this today's tutorial. So in short we are going to see the elastic search the implementation architecture and not the internal architecture of the elastic search itself. So let's start. If you remember there are several components comes with elastic stack. For example beats, log stash, elastic search and cabana. Apart from this Elastic stack, there are several components. For example, the deployment component, which are of two types. One is SaaS component, which is kind of Elastic Cloud. We can leverage the Elastic Cloud for the deployment purpose. And the next is self managed, where we have to manually deploy the Elastic, com elastic Search components. The next in this all the component list is nothing but the bits and the log stash. If you remember my earlier lecture and we discussed what is bits, what is the log stash, there we discussed these two components are used for injecting the data or for providing the data as an input. So bits and log stash will inject the data to Elasticsearch and the Elasticsearch is a core component of all this Elastic stack and it is used for indexing the data and performing several op operations such as searching the data. Even we can analyze the data using the elastic search and which can be leveraged for the searching functionality. Then we have the front end application in this stack and that is the Kibana which is used for displaying the data in the form of charts and graph. Of course, it has all other functionalities also with kind of security. Also, we have the development tool also included in the Kibana. Apart from all these components, the next component we have is nothing but the what are the solutions which we get by using all these components. And these solutions are nothing but the application search. So, you can embed the elastic search in your blog, in your enterprise application in your standalone application as well. Then we can generate the matrix also with the help of the index data which is stored in the elastic search. We can achieve the site search like for example if you have the blog you can use the your site search instead of not the enterprise just not the enterprise data search. We can also achieve the application performance management then we have the enterprise search, business analytics, logging and security and there are so many other upcoming features. So this is the overall picture of the elastic search. But how these components are leveraged or how these components are arranged as a holistic approach, those things we are going to see in our next or upcoming slides. Before going to see how the architecture we need to design for our project, we need to understand some of the terms. Let's understand what it includes under the cluster. The cluster contains at least three master nodes. These master nodes are used to control the whole cluster. Having these three master nodes are used for brain splitting purpose. So that means if there are one of the need node to be survived, we need to have the odd number surviving. We cannot use two or four because it will create the risk condition. We'll see in detail what is a brain split in a separate lecture. But for now, just understand we need to have the three master node and out of these three, only one will be active at a given time. Then we have the data nodes. There are two types of data nodes. One is hot data node and the second is warm data node. Hot data node and warm data node 
these two are itself a big concept which we'll see in the separate lecture but here we just need to know these two types of nodes are used for holding the index data these two types of node also used to carry out the data related operation such as searching analyzing etc the next type of nodes which are present inside the cluster are nothing but the inject nodes as the name suggests these are the nodes which are helpful to ingest the data to the elastic search nodes or the elastic search components mostly these nodes are used for transforming and enriching the data before indexing for our search and analysis purpose the next node is alerting node as name suggests these nodes are used for executing the alerting jobs next in the queue is nothing but the ml node or machine learning nodes as we know elastic search support the machine learning which is kind of future for us hence for that we need to also assign the new nodes and these ml nodes are used for executing the machine learning jobs apart from all these types of nodes there is another type which is the final but important node is nothing but the coordinating nodes it is used to route the request to re respective node it is also used for distributing the bulk indexing job so that we can achieve the better performance now let's not go into the more technical detail let's understand the architecture how these components are arranged or how can we leverage all these components for achieving the better search functionality in your enterprise application let's start with the basic one the basic architecture will look like this the bits on the left hand side will act as a input provider you can use file bit or win log bit you can also use the hard bit or matrix bit even packet bit or audit bit based on your operate operating system then search input data will be pushed to the elastic search where we'll have the different kind of nodes which we already saw in our previous slide and this elastic search will perform indexing and will be ready for search operation this data present in the elastic search can be shown on the application front end application such as kabana so this is very simple architecture where we are leveraging bit elastic search and kabana together but how about log stash where can we use that so as like the previous architecture we can leverage the log stash between the bits and the elastic search here log stash will the more operation compared to bits because bits is more kind of providing data but log stash has the more capability compared to bits and that will be introduced between the bits and elastic search which will be kind of the data inject pipeline between the bits and the elastic search of course elastic search will have the multiple nodes master nodes three master nodes kind of two data nodes and other nodes such as ml nodes then now we saw the two types of architecture one is very simple basic with bits elastic search and kabana then we added the log stash component similarly you can keep adding other component based on your project need but how about the high availability if one of the or one of the node goes down how we are going to achieve the the both architecture as a together high availability for that purpose we have to create one host machine which will hold the elastic search as well as kabana and other host machine for example host b which also have the elastic search and the kabana and both these will be part of the b cluster and which can be accessed to the load balancer so of course we can use the load balancer to achieve the high availability so this is about the the architecture of the elastic search in our upcoming lecture we are going to see how to use the curl command to check the status of kabana status of elastic search 
and many more things. So keep watching this space. If you enjoy this video tutorial, please like this video and also subscribe this channel for more interesting updates about all technology which includes Elasticsearch, Curve, Python and so on. Thank you and have a great time.